Lucy here from PopCultureMadness.com and ConcertBlogger.com with John Five of Rob Zombie and various other bands and projects. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm great. So how are you enjoying Mayhem this year? How does it compare from other years? You're getting to be a veteran of Mayhem. I love it. You know, you, it's it's incredible. You know, it's summertime and it's, you got all these bands. You got catering. You got you know you meet the people and it's you know it's like a heavy metal summer camp you get to play these incredible shows and you know it's a blast you know you can't, you can't ask for anything more it's incredible you get to hang out with your friends all day it's it's wonderful you, you know i heard your song got to come out for like the first time it was like a few weeks ago that must have been exciting <laughs> yeah the very first time he's ever seen me play and he's 17 what? <laughs> yeah 17 years old and uh his mom always kept him away from it and stuff. So he, uh, it's great because the show is so big. So he just freaked <laughs> out. You know, he was in the pit. He was going nuts. <laughs> he had. You gotta be like, that's my dad up there. What? Yeah. It's 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 strange because it's just like if you know, you know, your dad. You see him every day for 17 years, and then all of a sudden, you see him up on that stage. You know, so it was a, it was an incredible incredible experience. I mean, what can we be expecting with tonight's stage show? I've purposely tried to stay away from reading anything because I want to be surprised. But, you know, I saw you guys, um, you know, at various festivals over the years. So how much has changed? How much uh, new material is making it into the set? Um, it's a whole new show. It's, it's really a massive show. And uh, we have, uh, you know, we're doing like four new songs. And... Uh, it's great, you know. People love these new songs, and we're getting just incredible response from the uh, from the record, and uh, you know the crowds are loving it. So it's a big production show. I mean, in the first few shows, I was like, okay, well, you know, I almost ran into the pyro because I wasn't I wasn't used to, you know, where everything is because it's a new show, you know. So I wasn't used to it, you know, and. Uh, but now, you know, I know what to do and where to be and stuff like that, you know, because there's so much going on. So you're going to be really entertained. I cannot wait to see this. I really can. I'm super excited. So can we talk a little bit about the new album, Venomous Rat Regeneration Bender? I know that uh, everybody's probably been asking what the overall concept and story behind this whole thing is. What was the recording process like for you? Well, the recording process, you know, we were on tour with Megadeth and we ended in the East Coast and Rob said, hey, let's make the record at my house let's you know because we've made every other record in LA and you know there's a lot of distractions in LA you know I live in LA and the other guys live in LA so you know you have things to do either if it's a dentist appointment or you have to pick this up or you have to do that or oh, it's home base so. yeah so there's a lot of, of things so he said why don't you come to the house and we're gonna do it here and there's no distractions you know and it was an incredible experience because you got up you know he has uh, at Rob's house he's got these other houses and stuff and he's like okay you'll live in this house and this house we're gonna make the record and I'll be in this house so I would wake up you know in the morning in my pajamas just walk over to the studio and we'd work all day and uh, you know it was a great experience you know because we were so focused and came out with a with a great record that's great. And, um, you know, I'm sure, like, the environment does play, you know, part, like you were saying, you know, away from the distraction. And sometimes the environment can even become a character itself, like, in the overall feel and vibe of an album. Sure. You know, if, you know, it depends on if you, you know, if you're running late or if there's, you're stuck in traffic or something like that. And we didn't, we didn't have any of those problems. You know, we just, uh, how long did it take? It took, you know, I don't know. I was there for like a month, and then Rob was singing for, you know, a couple weeks after that, and then we mixed for like a month. And so, you know, it was scattered and things like that. We It was such a great experience. We've had nothing but great experiences making these records. That's great. So what's coming up next? Are we going to see any more scoring from you? I know that you did The Lords of Salem. Is there any other film stuff in the works for you? No, you know, um, I'm just... Uh, concentrating on this tour and we're going to be going to uh, South America to do the Rock and Rio and some oh, that's gonna be so exciting yeah we're gonna do a bunch of we're just concentrating on 
these uh, shows, and we're also, for the first time, you know, throughout White Zombie's career and Rob Zombie's career, we're finally putting out a music DVD, a concert DVD. When is that going to be due out? Finally! <laughs> so excited about it. Um, you know, I'm not sure when it's going to come out, but, you know, I am really excited about it because the show's so big, and, you know, a lot of the people can't make it. You know, we're not hitting every single state and every single country in the world, you know, so I think people really want to see, you know, this show instead of watching it from a cell phone on YouTube, you know, so, and this show is so big, you know, it's not going to get much bigger than this, you know, so, because the stages can't even hold this huge show anyway, so I'm really excited about the DVD. That's great. Can I, like, touch on something you mentioned, even about people watching these shows through, like, cameras, phones, and things like that? What is what is that like for you? I mean, you've obviously witnessed this whole thing. I mean, people don't hold laggers in the air anymore. They hold phones up in the air. And, I mean, you're staring out like a sea of phone screens. And what, what is that like? I don't know. It kind of irritates me. I'm just saying, but... I, uh, you know, it's funny because you pay money to come to a show, get parking, you know, get in your seat, and... Then you're just staring. You're not even looking at us. You're just staring at a phone. So I don't really understand that. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't really understand that. If that's the case, just stay home. You know. But you know, it's technology, and it's what people do. I guess they they want to capture it, and they want to be the ones putting it on YouTube, which is fine. You know. So uh, you know, it's just how it is nowadays. And who knows, you know, what it's going to be like, you know, 10 years from now, what they're going to be holding up. Who knows? Know. You know? It's kind of scary to think about. But, you know, it's fascinating, too, because I think that even the way that it's changed the industry and the uprise of social media, you know, I'm sure that you've been witness to all that. What effect do you think that it's had? Well, I think it's had a, uh, you know, it definitely has its pros and cons, you know, with just think if you were, a kid and you wanted to go to a certain concert and you're like trying to imagine what it was like well nowadays you can go and actually type in that not even the band or the show but the you know specific show that you were supposed to go to and you can see that you know which is pretty incredible you know but uh on the bad side of course you have your you know stealing the music and things like that so there's definitely good and bad with everything and uh you know we'll see what happens in the future what what's going to happen because it's kind of a mess right now so we'll see what happens absolutely i certainly hope for the best with all you know i always tell people that say you know that rock music is dying i'm like you have not come out to these festivals and seen these fans that are out like you know sweating out in the heat and i mean they love every minute of it yeah they, i mean they they are out here at one o'clock and they stay till 11 o'clock and uh it's incredible in this heat and uh you know so rock is not dead it's it's here at mayhem absolutely so i have to ask what led to the decision to cover we're an american band by uh grand front grower were there any other songs you were thinking about doing that well i mean it's just such a perfect song it works it's yeah it's amazing. incredible the uh <laughs> It's, you know, me and Rob were in the back of the bus and we were just talking about covers and he said, I think I got it. He said, American Band. And I was like, that's it. I mean, because it just fits us perfectly. You know, we changed, uh, Rob changed the lyric from uh, Up All Night with Freddie King and it's, you know, Up All Night with Carrie King. And because uh, it's true, it's just what we do, you know. And so uh, Sweet Sweet Connie is not around us but you know we just had to uh it's such it's a perfect song for us and we love playing it you know people really uh enjoy it too oh yeah it's a lot of fun the first time i heard it i was like no way that's awesome yeah <laughs> like, that's how i was yeah. too <laughs> no it just it fits so well yeah. <laughs> So, you know, solo for you, like you've done, is it six solo albums now? I mean, God told me to, it's absolutely one of my favorite CDs. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Is there anything else in the works? Is there anything you'd like to try? I mean, because you just experiment with so many different styles on, on that. I mean, I, the name is escaping me, but it's even the flamenco style. Like song is gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. I, uh, you know, there's no rules. I, you know, I put these records out myself. I do it for the love of the guitar and hopefully 
to inspire some people on the way. So, you know, I can do whatever I want, you know, with the, the weird music. If it interests me, and hopefully it'll interest some other people, which it has. So, um, you know, I'm working on another one right now. And, you know, I think people are going to be pleased with it. Did I hear something about her having like a country tinge to it? Maybe well, something like that? I always have a little country tinge to everything I do. So, uh, you know, all the records I'll put a little, you know, bluegrass or western swing on there just to uh, mix it up a little bit. And people really enjoy it, you know. People really like that stuff. So, uh, yeah, this one, you know, it's definitely going to be... Uh, you know, people will enjoy it, hopefully. Absolutely. It was such a fun album to listen to from Sarge Banks because you never quite knew what was coming next, and that was great, and that's refreshing because nobody wants to go, okay, yeah, it's just another, like, big of the same thing, and that was that was awesome. Are you ever going to tour that? Um, I don't know. You know, it's like I'm, you know, out touring here, and, you know, there's so many hours in the day, <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I know. And then it's kind of like, oh, I think I need a break now. <laughs> so, <laughs> then you guys have that great, um, Rob's Great American Nightmare coming up, too. So um, what's in store for that? Well, it's a two-week extravaganza, and we are doing it um, in the last two weeks of November. And there's a ton of bands playing. There's, you know, wrestling. There's mazes. We're going to play on... November the 2nd and uh, I mean I love Halloween and we're gonna you know if he wasn't if I wasn't involved in this I'd be going to it every day you know it's I love things like that you know I love trick-or-treating I love going to the haunted houses so I'm just as excited as everybody else you know so it's gonna be a lot of fun because I love Halloween so much. Oh, I know. I was so excited to hear it. Then I was so bummed that it was only in California. And I'm like, oh, us East Coast people are losing out here. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, the weather's a lot better over there, you know. Yeah, but I just got back from San Diego and I was chilly. So, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's, you know, hopefully it's going to continue every year and uh, in different areas. Let's see. You know, I'm I'm keeping my fingers crossed for that because it's, uh, it's an incredible thing, you know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So I hear a couple of the bands from Mayhem are going to be playing that as well. And, you know, is there any bands that you're really enjoying here out on Mayhem this year? Um, I'm enjoying, let's see, I, you know, I enjoy all of them. I'll go and watch a little bit of each one, you know, and, and I like, you know, it's great because you, it's like walking around, you can get to, you know, see a little bit of this band, a little bit of that band. So it's a great thing, you know, it's really cool. What is it like to you, for you to know that you've been like an influence on some of the younger bands out here? Um, you know, it's great because that's what I mainly do it for. You know, I love to, you know, I love to be influenced myself and, and, you know, it's very important for me to see that, you know, and going to other bands. So it's great. You know, it's, it's really important to me because I'm always looking for inspiration and hopefully we're inspiring some people on the way. Absolutely, I'm sure you are. And I, you know, I want to thank you so much for taking a few minutes to speak with me. I appreciate it. We look forward to all the rest of the tour. I cannot wait to see the show tonight. New album is fantastic. So it's everything seems to be going quite well. Great, thank you very much. Thank you so much.